Ladies and gents, we're keen to move on to the next match. Please put your hands together from South Africa. Kevin Anderson is on the court already, and his opponent today, Guillermo Garcia Lopez. I'll let them settle in, and I will speak to you in just a moment. Ladies and gents, as the players warm up, just a little bit of info about both of our uh, gentlemen. South African Kevin Anderson, just near me, uh, ranked 18 in the world, as I uh, just said. Two ATP Tour titles to his name, got through to the last eight at Queen's at the Aegon Championships, represented his country in both the Davis Cup and the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Also is a very, very good guitar player. His opponent is uh, Guillermo Garcia Lopez. He won this season, won in Casablanca, three ATP Tour titles to his name, 31 in the world rankings, returning to Boodles once again, got to the last 16 at the French Open, and at the quarterfinal of Monte Carlo this year, beating Thomas Burdick along the way. Gentlemen, have a great match. Ladies and gents, enjoy the game. Thank you. Three minutes.
Well, welcome back to Stoke Park, everybody, here in the wonderful surroundings of Buckinghamshire. Next up for us here at Boodles is the giant South African Two minutes. Kevin Anderson against Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Six foot eight inches of Anderson from Johannesburg, the world number 18. Who has twice been a runner up this year at Acapulco and at Delray Beach, the scene of his last title on tour back in 2012. Just not been able to get beyond. The final hurdle, Alyash Baden will be his opponent at Wimbledon in the first round. Anderson has also won well, both of his games so far here this week against Dominic Team and Jack Sock, all requiring a match tiebreak to secure those victories. But he did a match tiebreak just moments ago for a Robin Hasse against the a German Jan Lennart Struff. But Anderson's opponent in Guillermo Garcia Lopez. It's his first taste of Boodles for this year. A winner in Casablanca earlier in the year means he has one title to his name so far in one 2014. Minute. World number 31 from La Roda in Albacete in Spain. Big Barcelona fan and, well, as an Englishman, certainly feeling his pain as Spain are also out of the World Cup in Brazil. He managed to reach the second round of the Igon International recently and he surprisingly knocked out Stan Favrinka in the French Open first round stage as well, causing an upset, but unable to reach the quarterfinals there due to Gael Monfils' progression. Gentlemen, this match in the Boodles would be the best of three sets. First two tie Certainly break. has the some form coming into our break. third grand Kevin slam Anderson of the year, just the around the corner. And he elected to serve. Kevin Anderson, we know what you're going to get with Kevin Anderson. Huge serve, six foot eight. Time. His recent playing activity took him about an hour away into a central London and Queen's Club, the quarterfinals. He was beaten by Radic Stepanek. About a 16. Roman Garros as well, David Ferrer beating him in four sets. Some momentum behind the South African. Quarterfinals at Indian Wells early this year as well, but that final, well, those two final appearances in Acapulco, beaten by Grigor Dimitrov in Mexico and in Florida at Delroy Beach, Marin Cilic. And the victor on that occasion. Plenty to smile about. As you can see plenty of champagne being drunk here at Boodles today. And through the whole of the week, what has been perfect weather conditions. Kevin Anderson will serve to get us underway here. Kevin Anderson to serve, first set. The first set. Ready, play. Here we go. Fifteen long. Don't be surprised if it is all about the serve today with regards to Kevin Anderson. Such a weapon that he possesses. Thirty long. Used to be an 800 meter runner. Back in 
his youth, Kevin Anderson. Game Anderson. First game. First game. Very quickly under his belt. Two career titles to his name for the big South African. Highest rank of his career so far, 18. A few more start to take their places here. A few more just topping up their drinks. Two rows we've got. The pairs to serve. Lopez on serve this time. Fifteen long. Thirty long. Is that the biggest move for Kevin Anderson? And that'll be a, a, a key for Theo Lopez to really try and work Kevin Anderson today. See the left knee heavily strapped as well from the South African. Oh. Yeah, you'll see Solid hold from Garcia Lopez. Who in the One two previous old. meetings between these two has always come out on the wrong end of the results. The Mets. Competitively for a couple of years now. 2011 in Stockholm was the last time they met. And also featuring the same year in Miami, the Miami Masters. Oh. And in Stockholm though, Anderson came through and it was a very tight affair. When he get courtesy of two tie breaks. Fifteen. Lopez just nudging ahead. We've got to overall career titles, three to two. Anderson of the narrow side. 15 all. Well, judged by the South African, both these two, incidentally, with regards to their year to date win lose records, very, very tight. Anderson 22 12. Same amount of defeats, though two less wins for Gathiel Lopez this year. Fifteen 
that person. Garcia Lopez. Garcia Lopez. With break points, Garcia securing those. And an early break for the Spaniard. It's by two games to one. Anderson rank uh, seeded, should I say, 20 at Wimbledon this year. As I mentioned, up against Aljas Baden of Slovakia. It's the winners of Nine. Filippo Valandri and Eduard Roger Vassila. <coughs> First round encounter. Lopez, City 28th of Wimbledon this year. Dusan Lajovic will be his opening opponent from Serbia. Could go through to face Jan Lennart Struff, who's just been on court in the second round. If he can get beyond Lukas Kuba. Dirty love. He's starting well here, though. He was absolutely miles away. <laughs> Wrong service box. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> tournament, if you like, that is taken so terribly you. seriously. It's an element of that with rich preparations for Wimbledon but they do like to entertain the crowd as well interaction with them also Robin Harsa has been doing that all week oh, just too long from Anderson 40 30 Garcia Lopez. Garcia Lopez doing his bit. Garcia Lopez leads three games to one. Trains with his uh, very good friend Juan Carlos Ferrero. At uh, Juan Carlos Ferrero's tennis academy. He's actually set the world alight when it comes to his Grand Slam record. Love 15.
found a Roland Garros this year, the best he's ever managed to produce. Fifteen all. Anderson managing fourth round appearances of both the Australian Open and Roland Garros this year. Towards those clear blue skies above. Great focus. Anderson drags the game back. He was successful back on Tuesday against Dominic Team of Austria. An hour and 23 minutes, a straight sets victory there. And against Jack Sock as well, but he needed a match tie break to get the better of the American. He won the first set, succumbed in the second, but then managed to make sure in the third. The match tie break. We've got Freddie Nielsen and Johan Brunström of Sweden against Ken Skipski and Neil Skipski of Great Britain in the uh, doubles, which will follow the action here. Two thousand and two is when the first Boodles tournament time took place. It's a court which holds around seventeen hundred seats. Fifteen forty. to do here, Gathia Lopez. Oh. 
Yes. Walker for Anderson up in towards the body. Garcia Lopez. Garcia Lopez needed to Garcia dig deep and work hard there. And that's exactly what he did. Four games to two. He leads over Kevin Anderson, who he's never beaten. Love. Thirty love. It's a terrific return, isn't it, on that backhand side? Oh, oh just, yeah, just, just, just. Listen, gets a game back. It was a close call. Four games to three, Guillermo Catilla Lopez leads in this first set. New balls being used here. It's Garcia Lopez on serve.
just long from Garcia Lopez. Love city. It's much more of a, a serious feel to this match than what we saw with Robin Harser earlier on. Fifteen thirty. Wide serve from Garcia Lopez. against it a bit here considered a win against Carlos Moya the first round of the 2005 Australian Open is being one of his biggest wins of his career, which would eventually allow him to break into the top 100 for the very first time in his career. Anderson back, and back with a break, and levels things up at four games each. in Casablanca for Garcia Lopez back in April was against Marcel Granoyes fellow Spaniard Since success. It's been a little disappointing in recent years since his win at Delray Beach. <laughs> Just not been able to get across the finishing line in World Tour final events that he's been playing in. It was his fourth consecutive defeat when he was beaten at Delray Beach by Cilic back in February. He's a, a Delray Beach resident these days in Florida. Forty. It's the longest Delray Beach final in its history against Chilich. Three hours, eight minutes for a three setter for Anderson. He's got two break points staring back at him here. Ground catch 30, it. 40. <laughs> the 
Thank you. So there is another break. Five games to four. Garcia Lopez will serve to see out this first set here. Time. So the chance to see out this first set then for Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Good start. Right down the middle. Thirty A real message of intent there from Garcia Lopez right Three, into 30. the corner, right across court. Stunning way to bring up set point. First set. And the first Garcia set just go, Garcia Lopez's way. Six games before. It's the first time in three meetings that he's managed to take the first set off Kevin Anderson six games to fall the Spaniard here in our final singles action at Boodles with doubles to come and then all action and all I should I say will be on Wimbledon next week
Fine. Second set. You. So it'll be Anderson to get us underway the second set. Oh. Oh. Very nearly. An orthodox. 15 love. Attempt than what Robin Harsa tried earlier on, trying to go through the legs and completely messed it up. It's against Jan Lennart Struff. It's just a monstrous serve whenever he's in the mood, Kevin Anderson. Never the best. Uh, unable to deal with it. Yay, man. It's first game, second set. Wasn't wasting any time there, was he, Kevin Anderson? Okay, Lopez will be taking things one step at a time, just as he was coming down the steps there. Very, very coolly and plenty of focus, wasn't there, with those heels on. South Africa to female. Taste of his own medicine. Fifteen oh. all. <laughs> Proverbial air shots. Been entertained all the week. The crowd here at Boodles. Thirty fifty. Garcia Lopez. One game all. Bringing it back to one game all. That was impressive. What's <laughs> up?
15 all. Forty fifty. Yeah, Madison. That is a lead to game for one second set. It's been, uh, difficult day conditions wise. These players are very warm. Hydration will be absolutely key. Of course, these next two weeks at Wimbledon, you just don't know what you're going to get with the British summertime. Time. Fifteen love. Marrying off all the angles there, uh, Anderson by coming into that. Quite on that backhand side on that occasion from Anderson. Quite. You can see Lopez rather sloppy in the end. Oh. 
response yes. from the spotter. Garcia Lopez. <laughs> yeah, Good yeah, Lopez. by Garcia Lopez. Anderson anticipating Two where he old. may have just played this. Looked as though he was to blast it. Lovely touch. Dirty love. Just a single break in the first set. to secure the first set his way. To go up the line, Anderson ready. To flash it across court, not enough to work with. And keeping himself in front. Do you love terrific power on the serve? Thank 
control of the net from Garcia Lopez. Love. Just seems like the one to be able to create the chances could seem to victory. Forty love. Much of Anderson's success has been with his own surface game. Yeah, Garcia Lopez. As quick as that, last of this game for Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Three games all, second set. Very commanding indeed. Seemed too much in the way of serving volley, but Garcia Lopez showing his quality there. Fifteen love. <coughs> Thirty love. Thirty Forty fifty. Yay, Anderson. Anderson leads for the three seven set. Anderson just doing his bit to keep himself in front here. What has been a, another tightly contested set between these two, as it always has been when these two have come up against each other in past tournaments. Since 2011, have they met the main tour? Theo Lopez on surf. Love 50. The best of starts.
that was on the line. Fabulous hit from Kevin Anderson. The white serve again from Garcia Lopez. Oh, it's wide. 30, 40. Yeah, quite a lot of court to work with there. Break points. To hand Anderson the chance to serve for the second set. Unable to take his chance. Yes. That was an opportunity for Anderson. Garcia Lopez was struggling to get himself back into position. It's been a lot more of a, a professional performance from these two. Comparison to what we have seen here at Boodles this week, the luscious surroundings of Stoke Park in Buckinghamshire. It's been a fun performance on both service games and both players. Next. 
Second, sir. Can he get this point? A bit of a struggle this service game for him. Four games all. Had to work for that. Guillermo Garcia Lopez managing to level it all up. Kevin Anderson, the top South African player. Cersei Love. And it's Lopez was trying to do that. It's a tremendous return on my back outside. Sergio Lopez. I don't think this one was entirely expecting it. He attempted Ooh, to go, Garcia Lopez. A little bit of luck with a tickle off the net from Anderson. Finishing in the top 20 last year. First South African to do so since 2000 when Wayne Ferreira finished number 13. One way to wrap up again. Fabulous from the South African. Five games to four. It's oh so tight here at Stoke Park. setting 300 acres of Parkland estate. The most beautiful surroundings for a tennis tournament, especially on a day like today as well. Time. Of that from 
Anderson. Net. To execute the forehand down the line. Forty thirty. That's a big hole for Garcia Lopez because he was five years old. staring at Anderson leveling up the match for the set, should I say? Would it be a surprise to anybody if we were to go to a, a tie break to determine the outcome? Is some of that enough? Garcia Lopez.
30. Back on from Garcia Lopez. It's a little too difficult to control there with such power used from Garcia Lopez. Anderson. You can always rely on his serve, though. Hey, Hold on, well. Six games to five. Six so. games to five. seen Novak Djokovic here this week and he had to pull out due to a wrist injury he has since seemed to shrug off any doubts over his fitness the wrist injury has been causing him problems he hasn't had any really grass court preparation with the likes of Murray playing at Queens and Nadal Federer at Halle Lopez here looking to Are you playing for it for a serve? take us to a tie break in the second set. Looked good, looked on the line. Point needing to be replayed here. Fifteen love. Thirty fifty. Next, the Forty fifty. Tie break we will need Lopez. to determine the second set, Garcia Lopez. And he comes through it to take the match. Two tie breaks. 
in Stockholm in 2011 in a round of 32 tied that on the hard courts for Anderson to come through 7-6-7-6 Lopez looking for his first win against the South African where he's going not far away from Heathrow Airport to the northwest of Heathrow Three, one, Garcia Lopez. Garcia Lopez actually extending his lead. Absolutely ridiculous oh, from Garcia Lopez. Garcia Lopez. Absolute missile sent back to Kevin Anderson there. To go down the line. Anderson and the gap extends. <laughs> Nearly there, Garcia Lopez. Pulls action to come here to round off the day. Two thirty today, this afternoon. Entertainment for Saturday afternoon viewing. to Garcia Lopez.
had a pie for it. Garcia Lopez, Five it's three. really difficult to provide anything really. Six, three, Garcia. So Garcia Lopez has the opportunity now on serve to wrap up the match. Success for Guillermo Garcia Lopez over Kevin Anderson. Preparation complete here at Boodles ahead of Wimbledon. Starting uh, on ladies Monday. Ladies and gents, another fantastic match another here at the Boodles event. Uh, we'll just uh, grab just a quick uh, word with our winner, Guillermo. Guillermo, great to have you back here at Stoke Park. What's it like to be back playing in preparation for Wimbledon? Of course, always uh, a really nice uh, place to be here to prepare Wimbledon and with a nice crowd and nice people. They're a nice crowd, aren't they? And over there as well, lovely crowd. You've seen some great tennis today, haven't you, from these chaps? Very athletic. How are you feeling confident heading into next week? Well, uh, I, I lost first round in this one, but I'm playing good, I'm enjoying. So, uh, yes, of course, I'm doing a really good uh, year and uh, I'm, uh, you know, with confidence and I really comfortable playing here on grass, so I, I think I can, I can uh, uh, do well in, in, in Wimbledon. We look forward to watching you, a real boost to your confidence having one here. Hey, Kevin, we've seen some fabulous performances from you throughout the last few days. Uh, you've had a great time here. You didn't bring your guitar out today, you did promise me. No, I know. Uh, I guess I'm not quite good enough, to, yeah, so <laughs> I have to wait a little bit. Yeah, today didn't go your way, but what can you take, what positives can you take from this week? Yeah, it's always just great getting out here. It's a, it's a zoo at Wimbledon right now, so it's, you know, it's awesome to have a court by ourselves here and playing a match and uh, getting in those uh, match-ready conditions. So uh, you've got one more day tomorrow and then uh, you know, playing on Monday. Uh, keep us right, right up to date. Who are you playing on Monday? I'm playing um, Berne um, from Slovenia. He's a great player and a uh, good serve, so it'll be a uh, tough match on the grass, but you know, as I always say, just take one point at a time. No, you will be better, Kevin. Good luck. And we'll find out who Guillermo's playing. Who are you playing? I'm playing against... Uh, I don't remember yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lajovic, Dusan Lajovic. Okay, on Dusan, Monday? Uh, no, Tuesday. He's playing, playing on Tuesday, playing on Monday. You have a lot of supporters here. Round of applause for Guillermo and for Kevin. Thanks, chaps. We have another exciting, entertaining match coming your way. A, a doubles match to finish off the day. We have the English Skupsi, Skupski brothers up against Johan Brunström and Freddie Nielsen from Sweden. That will be Cliff in uh, just one minute time. Ted Watt has been our chair umpire. Ted, you've been doing a fabulous job. Thank you, Kevin. Get some rest and good luck next week. The ball girls from Wickham High School continue to do a marvellous job, as do the line umpires. Anybody need the loo? You all OK? I'm coming Dash off now if you do. You look desperate, actually. No, you're OK. Good. Excellent. Round of applause once again for Guillermo. Thanks, Guillermo. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you.